Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connie here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. I'd just like to start this off by apologizing for the obvious delay on what's been going on. It has been, I believe, exactly uh, yep, three weeks since I uploaded the last video, and that has just been due to time restraints. I have been working and all and such, but I'm sure you guys aren't as interested in that. But basically, in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is updating the meme cat and dog commands whilst also adding in some other stuff so i'm going to use duncan's api as you can see here all the links will be in the description to these apis we're mainly going to be using this one for the meme command but we might dive in and use seal llama and alpaca as well as maybe the k-pop one um, and also inputting a quarry. Now, as you can see, I've got the main setup of what the file should look like. I have the requirement for the new package we're gonna be using uh, for the HTTP requests. Node fetch is an NPM package in which we are gonna use in today's video. If you guys wanna search it up or have a look, you can definitely have a look on the NPM website for now. Uh, let's start this off by making a lexical definition called message. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do what happened in the last video is we're gonna obviously set up a send or a message send to the discord that has a variable upon it so basically we can recall that message in the same scope without having to fetch the message and once we have done that we're obviously going to edit it so we're going to hit generating right here dot 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 and this is exactly what we had in the previous tutorials also if you like this theme um you know just join the discord and uh i'll tell you what it is so next what we're going to do is we're going to hit up this api right here we're going to grab this dog one and obviously what you can see here is it says message so that's the property we're going to grab from the json that is on here we're going to hit this up here so fetch has now uh displayed itself as being called upon and then what we're going to do after this is we're going to have a dot then with a parameter of res and then inside that we're going to do res j json with a json being a function and then after that we're going to do then and then we're going to have body as the past parameter here and then we're going to space that so basically this inside here is what is going to be where the code comes in this is the main main kind of stuff of it let's not grab that we want to grab the the not not the message we want to grab the the api up here so we want to grab this that's the return thing so basically when this is run in the browser it's going to come up with a random link of such if it would reload that'd be great so it's going to come up with a random image and obviously it's going to be a different different image each time so once we're in here and even though it should technically display what we need so what we're going to do is just have a simple return and just say message, maybe message.reply, which will reply to the uh, user saying, oops, I've uh, broken, I've broken, I broke, I, bro I broke, not with a capital, I broke, try again. And then basically after that, it won't, it won't fire this, it won't, uh, continue with this condition check if the body is there so we're gonna have embed and then we're gonna do rich embed and that's gonna call upon this up here we're gonna do this and then we're just gonna have the basic construct of a, an embed we're gonna call cyan which is the obvious uh, colors.json that we have here and then we're gonna set author and we're gonna have the author start with uh, template literals is the one right next to the uh, one on your keypad and then we're gonna have a variable here so we're gonna do bot.user.username and then we're gonna have dog now we can set this to uppercase but do you know what we'll do here set it to lowercase at an exclamation mark and then as a second parameter here we can have the message.guild.icon url and this just means that it's going to have the uh, image of the guild just up in the top bar of the embed. Next, we're going to do the most important part and set the image. And the image here for the dog command is going to be, I believe, random. So what we do is we'll just check and 
it's not it's gonna be message so we want to grab message here and then we want to obviously turn that into the property that we look for so body.message will return the uh, required image and then we can do all the fancy stuff like set timestamp and then we can do set footer and then do you know what right here what we can do is we'll do bot.user.username.2 upper case turn that into a function second parameter being bot.user.display avatar url and then obviously what we have to do here is message dot edit oh sorry we'll do message dot edit and we'll edit the this this message that we declared before and we'll turn it into the embed now this may look a little bit horrible on phone so what you can do is you can do message dot channel dot send and you can send the embed and then you can do message dot delete and that will delete the embed and send a new fresh message but what we're going to do here is we're going to move out of this file we're going to hit save on memes i'm going to go to dog we'll hit that up there and obviously this is going to be in the dog file and then we'll grab the required api link so do memes turn this into memes and then memes as you can see here the image is image so we'll have to adjust this accordingly and we'll change that to image and then right here it says cat so what we're going to do is we should probably select this again and ask for it to be sent so we're going to send that this is the cat one so if we go here it says file so we have to adjust this to file and then we have to stick the new thing here so these look like they have been adjusted correctly the dog is correct that is correct and then what we can do here is we'll make some new files so we'll do alpaca.js we'll make uh i believe llama.js now i think there is another one yes so we have seal here that we can play with and then we have seal.js so since we have all these what we can do actually is we can just make uh an image oh no we don't want a new file we want a new folder we can just make images folder so it says images here and then we'll just move don't ask me again we'll move all these files into here llama meme and then we're obviously going to have to copy these through we'll do alpaca and then i believe the alpaca api is just this here put that in there and then the alpaca one it is file so we'll keep that as file sends a picture of an alpaca and this category is now changed to images so we we'll actually have to go through here and change this to say images for all um, this is just obviously better practice and it'll make sure that the uh the help command over here is correct so next we'll do llama llama is also file so what we'll do is we'll change this to file we'll select this push it over again and then we'll check if the seal one is also file it is file so what we'll do is we'll just change this to seal and then obviously we should have changed these as we're going through so llama this is not dogs this is llama <clears throat> and then alpaca and then just for the main one um as we just open this real quick you'll see that there is a little bit of extra information given so we have a title and the title could be uh could help with um telling you what the memes about because sometimes the memes that are pulled from the uh the reddit the subreddits that are connected sometimes the images are just images and they need the title to explain some of the stuff so what we'll do is we'll add a title or even better what we'll do is we'll add a condition check so what we can do here is because this is declared here what we can do is just have a title check down here 
then we'll do if body dot title we'll do embed dot set title body dot title and this just means that if there is a title then it will be displayed because sometimes there isn't and the title will always be in the same position so that should be all fine and dandy so uh sends a llama image and now because we've added a new folder what we're gonna have to do is go into here and we're just gonna add images and then bam so that will load the images folder when the bot is turned on so now that all these commands are done what we'll do is we'll quickly just jump into discord and check if the bot works correctly this video is proudly sponsored by oxide hosting with this hosting company you can never go wrong they provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. So as you can see, the bot is online. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to quickly type meme in. Generating. It says dogs. That is harsh. Okay. So obviously there is an issue here. So there was a little bit of a mix up. I forgot to change some of the names over here. So that's obviously going to create an issue. So we'll make sure all the titles seal, llama, alpaca is correct. This says dogs, which is not what we want to say. We want to have it like that. But what is interesting to me is it didn't edit the embed to show the image. Do you know what? What we'll do here is we'll just completely remove the title from the condition check and just place it up here and see if that will fix it. Although that should work. It's not chucking any errors in console, which is unfortunate. Just undefined. That's brilliant. Okay. I see the major mistake I have made. Okay. So what I did was I forgot to go into data. So it has been pulling the incorrect information because it's not just directly in there. So we just need to adjust this to go into the data just like so and obviously when you're coding there's always going to be something that you miss by accident and that's completely fine so now that we've actually realized our mistake we could possibly bring back this check um this check here so embed blah 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 and then we'll check if this is here so this is only with duncan's uh, api sometimes like especially with the dog one so what you'll see here so as you'll see the alpaca one has data and then underneath that it will have files so you have to go into the data and then hit file whereas if i can quickly reopen the cat one you'll see that there is nothing above it it is just file so now that we fix that what we'll do is we'll hit meme up again and then meme should come through with the so as you can see right here there wasn't an image displayed so what we're actually going to do is i didn't actually realize that sometimes it doesn't display it so what we're going to do is we're going to use an or operator here and we're going to check if there is a body so if there isn't we're just going to say return and then that should fix that issue like sometimes it will come through and say it wasn't yeah so this should work now but obviously what we can do here is we can actually make some form of hyperlink and if you guys don't know how to make one of these it's pretty simple so what we'll do is we'll the meme here and then if that exists we'll add a conditions here at a open our parameters and then we'll do set url so basically set url will turn the title into a hyperlink if the url given is valid so what we'll do is we'll do body.data. Um, dot i believe it is url so we'll check where is duncan's meme api so yeah it says url so we'll change that to url and then uh wait for it to reload huh i see my issue here i made a mistake that should have been a curly brace instead of a uh a door so so let's check this again do meme and it comes through and then that should be able to go to the uh the reddit so <laughs> i know this has been quite a long tutorial and it shouldn't have been it was very basic stuff 
Uh, but it's been a while since I've recorded. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, quite a few videos and kind of back them up so that I'm able to get video out for you guys. If you guys didn't know, I'm using the Visual Studio Code Insiders Edition. It's a lot smoother. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, I'll probably put a link in below as well. But yeah, let's just make sure everything is working fine and dandy. So Alpaca is working. Seal is working. And then Llama, finally. Llama is working. And then we'll just check the cat and dog. Cat is working and dog is working. Look at that. That's wonderful. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been episode 22 of the Discord.js tutorial series on the Menu Docs channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in two weeks from now. Peace. Hey guys, in this outro card, I just wanted to apologize for how stretched out the video was. It should have been a lot shorter as well as the video quality itself should have been a lot nicer. I've been experimenting with new settings and I believe I have fixed the blurriness of the video. So within the next couple videos, you will see the change. When I scale the video, it shouldn't be as disgusting looking. Anyways, guys, um, that's me out. Peace.